what uh, superlative can I use to describe Mrs. Linda Brooks Burton? One of the most perfect people that I've ever known. Um, again, it is a great, great morning. Um, one that has been in the making for, I would say, 50 years. Um, and it seems that she spent most of those 50 years here at the Bayview Library in this community. Um, I miss her totally, completely, and I am incredibly happy, overwhelmingly so, that uh, we are here commemorating uh, the groundbreaking of the brand new Bayview Linda Brooks Burden Library. And I want you all now, <laughs> see that applause right there? That's not good enough for me. I want you all to give her the biggest, greatest, most awesome ovation so that she can hear us. Right now. Yeah. Woo! Not bad. Not bad. All right, right? Um, you will also have a mic, though, um, uh, at the end of the program to, uh, to talk about Mrs. Linda Brooks Burton. Um, so right now I want to introduce uh, Ms. Leela, or Leah, is it Leela? Where is she? Mrs. Leela, Miss Leela Pittman, who is going to introduce her fantastic dance company. I'm gonna ask you actually to kind of like swerve in your chairs to like focus your attention on these lovely, black, beautiful young ladies over here. Mrs. Miss Pitt, Miss, Mrs. Mrs. Pittman, please. Hi, my name is Leela Pittman. Um, I run the uh, Feline Finesse Dance Company. We are a predominantly hip hop dance company. Um, we originated here in the Bayview community. Um, our mission here is to create a safe haven for our young women to freely, artistically, and creatively express themselves through dance while empowering them to reach their full potential. So we um, thank you guys, um, and we're just so gracious that we're here to uh, bless you guys with our spirit and just to uplift your spirit today with just a little, little something. So thank you. Thank you guys, and we also have a website. It's www.felinefinessedance.wix.com slash LP123. Thank you guys, have a blessed day. My name's Talina, and I go to Thurgood Marshall. My name is Heaven, and I go to George Washington Carver. My name is Sharmika, and I go to Thurgood. My name is Linnea, and I go to Bessie Carmichael Elementary. My name is Nyla, and I go to Star King Elementary School. My name is Kanai, and I go to Bessie Carmichael. My name is Amari, and I go to Malcolm X Academy. My name is Amari, and I go to E.R. Taylor. My name is Talia, and I go to Charger. My name is Leah, and I go to Charger. My name is Leah, and I go to Charger. My name is Isai, and I go to um, Red Melon. My name is Rihanna Gale, and I go to Charles Jew. My name is Jesse, and I go to church every Easter and Christmas. All right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Again, for the ladies, you guys, an applause, please. Thank you. You look beautiful. Thank you again, uh, Miss Leela. Thank you. 
Okay. Um, you know, for years I have lived right down the street from the library, and I still do. Um, and I, I think I, I think that even if I am outside of the community, I will still live right down the street from the library. Um, Mrs. Linda Brooks Burden always made me feel like I was a part of her family. I can remember many times being like down to my last dollar and going to this woman and she giving me like a hundred dollars, you know? It's like, oh my God. And you know, it was easy, it would have been easy to take advantage of her, of her generosity. And a lot of times I did as a young kid, honestly. Um, it's gonna take me a long time to repay her. And I look forward to it. And I think this entire community looks forward to repaying her love and her effort. Um, and I tell you, I wish, I, I wish we weren't here. I wish we were not here. I wish she was in that library or downtown doing her thing. Um, and in a way, I think she is. So again, thank you, ladies. You were awesome. You're beautiful. I hope you don't leave. There's still food inside. There's food. There's food. Okay, so I want to welcome you again. We have a, a couple of speakers here to s this morning, um, and we are going to get it started, I believe, with, let me get my little cheat sheet. We have Mrs. Teresa Ono, who is the Library Commission President. So Mrs. Ono, please. Good morning, Bayview. Good morning. This is such a great turnout. On behalf of the Library Commission, I want to add my congratulations and um, thank you to your community for this special occasion. Um, as you are aware, the Library Commission unanimously approved the renaming of the library branch. Um, it was a no-brainer for us after we heard all of your heartfelt, sincere, warm, eloquent comments at our um, meeting here at the library, there was no way we couldn't have um, agreed with the rest of the community to rename this the Bayview Linda Brooks Burton Branch Library. Your community has such a warm and blessed spirit and we are so grateful that we are able to approve this for you. We also want to thank you. We know that you always put on a great uh, community event and with a lot of love and a lot of food, so I appreciate that. And I thank you. I'll make it short, so thank you very much. And now we have the former uh, chief of branches here. Uh, he is a very suave and debonair uh, black gentleman. I want to be him when I get older. Uh, his name is uh, Edward Melton. Mr. Melton, please. Good morning, Bayview. It's, it's really a pleasure for me to be back here in, in the Bay Area in San Francisco to memorialize Linda Brooks Burden and, and the work that she did for our community here in San Francisco. Uh, and I, it's, it, I can't explain how many different ways that she impacted the community. Uh, you know, it, she was a community advocate. She was a community advocate. Uh, she was an activist. Uh, and she was one of the instrumental people who really made sure that we have this library that we have behind us today. You know, she, was, she worked on the grassroots level. She worked with contractors. She did everything that she could to make sure that we have this top quality library here for our community. And it was all driven because of her passion and her commitment to the community. And not in, in this, you know, it's, it's a testament to the impact that she had on the Bayview community, but her reach extended beyond. And so it went throughout the city of San Francisco as far as the work that she did. And so, we, it, you know, it for her, for the community and even for the organization as far as librarians, you know, she is inspiration for us. You know, how many times do we see where a librarian is memorialized in this type of way where we name a, a library after her. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's a amazing the work that she did, you know, from, and it's from children up to senior adults that she impacted as far as having that type of 
reach as far as the span and the breadth of, of, of the work that she did. So it's, 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 a, it's a lot that I can continue to say uh, about Linda uh, as far as the great work she did, but I definitely want to thank the, the renaming committee who did so much work to make sure that this happened. Uh, I also want to thank, thank the support from the community as, as far as getting behind this movement and making it happen. And I definitely want to thank the family who uh, shared Linda with the city of San Francisco and with the Bayview area. Uh, <laughs> I do have some words from uh, Luis Herrera, the city librarian, who unfortunately uh, was, uh, is unable to be in attendance today. Uh, and, and, and here it goes. Dear family and friends of Linda Brooks Burton, I wish I could be with you today for this joyous occasion as we celebrate Linda's life and honor her legacy by adding her name to the library she loved. As city librarian, I was truly blessed to know Linda and to appreciate her many contributions. She gave us so much, she gave so much to the library having worked at the main and many of the branches and touched the lives of so many people in our community. Most importantly, Linda had a remarkable impact in creating positive change in the Bayview community where she worked tirelessly for many years. How appropriate and meaningful that a place she cherished and now, bear, now bears her name so that we will always be reminded of her extra, extraordinary work and gift that she gave to the community. May this library continue to be a beacon of knowledge, inspiration, and learning, just as Linda would want it to be. Congratulations and thank you to the entire community for supporting the move to add her name to the Bayview Library so that we can so that we may honor her memory for generations to come. Regards, Luis Herrera, City Librarian. I should also mention that uh, Mr. Melton flew all the way here from Houston. Because he is the man. Um, before we move on, I want to give a special shout out to the actual committee that put all this together. We have the lovely Mrs. Rita Collins, right there. We got the lovely Mrs. Francine something, I forget her last name. Carter, yes. We have the magnificent Mr. Jeffrey Vetcher. Yes, sir. We have Mr. Walter the Fats Domino Awesome Sauce Johnson. Did I miss anybody? Oh, yes. Miss Lydia Vincent, right here. Uh, somebody else? Oh, yes. This lovely lady right here, who is a, what is she? She is a queen in the community. I forget her first name, though. Right. I forgot my name, my name last night, I'm sorry. Um, next up, we have uh, an awesome gentleman. Where is he, Mr. Glenn Remiski? comes to our library at the Mission Bay all the time. Mr. Romiski, please. Thanks, Jesse. Hello, Bayview. Hello. I'm Glenn Romiski. I'm uh, a member of the Friends of the Library. Uh, uh, recently retired Longshoreman. This was my branch before the Mission Bay Library was built. I either went to the Maine or I came here. And it's an honor to be here today helping uh, uh, make this name change and celebrating what libraries are all about. I've been a friend of the library all my life. And when I came down here and got involved in the Branch Library Improvement Campaign, the infection just stuck. And I stayed with it, participated, and that's how I met Linda. I worked near here, so I'd come over here and use the library on my time off. And what is that building? What's that building that we're gonna pull the drape off of and rename? That's a safe place for ideas. It's a safe place for knowledge. It's a safe place for community organizing. It's a safe place for these young women we just saw dance go in and become the next Nobel Prize winner. That's what that library is all about. And Ms. Brooks made that happen. She was the gatekeeper, mother, mentor, and uh, I guess loan agent from what I hear. <laughs> Good thing I didn't know about that part. But anyway, it's, it's such a, a thrill to be here participating in this celebration on behalf of Makiko, the president of our board, Scott Staub, the executive director, the member, 
members of the Friends of the Library, uh, thank you very much. I want to throw in a, a, just a shameless plug. The spring book sale for the Friends of the Library is at Fort Mason the first week of April. Come down and own a book. Thank you. Or if you would rather rent a book, just come to your local library. Um, okay, uh, do we have Ms. Um, Virginia Marshall in the audience here somewhere? Oh, um, so, okay, in place of the wonderful Virginia Marshall, we have the equally, okay, first, yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, this lady I've known uh, my entire tenure at the library. She's an awesome, beautiful black sister. Uh, yeah, I mean, there are many, many, many beautiful black sisters in the Bayview, and white sisters, and Latin sisters, and Asian sisters. Did I miss anybody? Indian sisters, alien sisters. Good, okay. Mrs. Emily Wade Thompson. Good morning, everyone. Jesse, you cleaned that up pretty well. <laughs> so I'm honored and humbled to uh, be here to represent the San Francisco Unified School District, but more than anything, to talk about uh, Linda for just a minute, how she was such an integral part of all of our schools here in the Bayview. Being able to come read to our children, making sure that there were SAT workshops here, making sure the children had tutoring, had homework, and they participated in the summer reading program. Um, to think about the fact that Linda is such a legacy in this community. And I'm hoping that, and I'm speaking to her children now, I'm hoping that some way we can figure out a way to write a children's book about Linda. And wouldn't it be fabulous for that book to be read here? I would love to come and be one of those readers. So I want you to think about that because years from now, People, some people in this community may not know who Linda was. And we want her legacy to live on for generation and generations to come. If you recall that she celebrated many people in this community as heroes and sheroes, unsung heroes and sheroes. And that was such a special thing for her to look out in the community and see all the wonderful things that many people have done here and to celebrate them yearly. Now this is our opportunity. We now can celebrate her legacy and really claim her as a shero. Okay? The, and the last thing I would say is I don't see Husani here today, but I know that he participates in BACAC. And I'm hoping that some way Linda's voice can be taped. So when children come and visit this library, we go to different schools, they will truly know who she is because she had such a soothing voice and she was so enthusiastic about our babies knowing that this library is a hub in our community. Thank you so much. And now Miss Virginia Marshall, Mrs. Miss Miss. Miss. Yeah. Good morning everyone. Good morning. What a lovely day. Yes. Isn't God good? He sent us sunshine today on this beautiful day. Why did he send us sunshine today? Because he knows that the hard work of one Linda Brooks Burton will live on in our hearts forever. On behalf of the San Francisco Alliance of Black School Educators, you just heard Emily Way Thompson, my president, yours truly vice president. We are delighted to be here with you today because our office is just two blocks down the street. Emily came from Carver, just down the street here as well. Young people, I have in my hand a what? A bell. You know, before Twitter, uh, before we were able to tweet, to send an email, go, go on Facebook. Our forefathers would go out in those small towns in Tennessee and Mississippi and Arkansas and Texas, and they will ring the bell. The bell in Louisiana. They will ring the bell. The, mail, the bell meant that something good was happening. Today, something good is happening. What's happening here today? I'm going to ring this bell for one, Linda Brooks Burden a child of the king. I'm going to ring this bell, one Linda Brooks Burton, a teacher, mentor, mother, sister, beloved wife. I'm going to ring this bell because one Linda Brooks Burton greeted everyone who entered the library with a, what, a great smile. 
I'm going to ring this bell because we know that children will come to this place, someone said, a safe haven to come in to do their homework after school, to come in and read in the library on Saturdays. I'm going to ring this bell because I know, I know one young person especially who wants to become a librarian. She lives here in Bayview Hunters Point and want to be nice, family and friends. Then one day we come back to this facility and you'll see a young woman named Tracy Parker who was standing and reading and working in the Linda Brooks Burden Library. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I want to welcome uh, Mr. Malik Sunaparu, who will be our musician this morning and this afternoon. He's a community leader as well. Okay, thought I lost you for a moment. Next up, we have Miss, Mrs., Ms. Uh, LaShawn Walker. Miss, Miss, Miss LaShawn Walker. There she is. Good morning, Bayview. Good morning, neighbors. In the 15th verse of the 15th chapter of John, the Lord says, I no longer call you servant, I call you friend. What things are called is very, very important. And so this morning's event, organized by the Friends of the Library, but really, libraries are friends to us. As people of the African diaspora, we know names are very, very important. And so the fact that we are celebrating the name change of this institution of learning and reading and learning about oneself to the Linda Brooks Burton um, Bayview Library. It's an auspicious occasion. That is a vocabulary word, by the way, young people. <laughs> so I am a longtime Bayview resident. I'm also the Director of Community Affairs for Lennar Urban, one of the contributors to this event. And I just want to um, say something very special about that. Everything about this name change process has been grassroots and including the fundraising. It was $20 here, $5 here, $10 here, and, that, and $2. And so it is a true community effort, and Lennar Urban just came in at the end as part of that community effort. So thank you, good morning, and God bless the name. I want to welcome uh, up to the microphone at this time, um, District 8 Supervisor, Mr. Scott Wiener. Mr. Scott Wiener, where are you? Tall guy. Good morning, everyone. I know that my wonderful colleague, uh, Supervisor Cohen, will be here momentarily. And so uh, I just wanted to say uh, congratulations. I actually, I remember being here when the ground was broken on this library and when we cut the ribbon on it. And we, some people say that, you know, libraries uh, they're a thing of the past, but they're not. These are community centers. These are places for everyone in our community, from, from little kids to our seniors, to come together, to have access to knowledge and technology and, and just to our community. And it's, uh, it's really, really great that it's being uh, named uh, for Linda, for all of her work. Our librarians are unsung heroes in our community. So congratulations to everyone. Now the lovely, unless Mrs. Malia Cohen is here, is she in attendance? No? I'm going to, um, I'm sorry, what did I say? Malia. That's prettier, actually, I like that better. Um, uh, Ms., Mrs. Uh, Lydia Vincent, please. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out. My name is, I was getting it. My name is Lydia Vincent White, and I'm here um, to introduce, some people have tried to introduce the committee members, and I'm gonna ask all of the, the committee members who uh, are present to please come up around me. And while they're doing that, um, Linda Voice is still on my home answering machine to this day, at this very moment. She called me on the day she passed to, to find out one specific thing that she wanted to get straight because she was advocating for program funding for this branch. So on the day she passed, she had Bayview in her heart and she had this branch on her mind. And from her repass, um, I, I don't see Jafria Morris, 
But you know how people say they have an idea themselves, but somebody else ought to make sure it happens. So on her repast, at her repast, a lot of that was floating around. Somebody ought to have that library named after Linda. And Jafria Morris caught wind, or maybe she had the idea herself, and she pulled some people that she knew were advocates in the community, and she said, we need to, we need to make this happen. So from that initial um, conversation at the repast, there was Renee Gonzalez, Espinola's husband, Espinola Jackson, Doris Vincent, Jeffrey Betcher, where are you, Jeffrey? Jeffrey Betcher, Mary McClure, where are you, Mary? They're over there. Mary and Joel were there at the first conversation, and Rita Collins. But for the last year and a half, this is a year and a half in the making, with consistent, constant advocacy and consistent, constant heart. And those people who um, were in it for a year and a half, we worked in our own strengths. We, there was no leader. We all just did what we did best. Jeffrey was the pre-R person. He got our, he was our wordsmith. He had um, on Bayview footprints getting all the information out on the hub. Um, Fran and Rita, who are standing right next to me, they made sure that you guys came out to fundraising dances and they asked the right questions. Then there was Walter Johnson, who anything we needed boots on the ground for, this brother came through. My mom, Doris Vincent, was a tremendous fundraiser. And then me, I was the facilitator and the organizer. So we all, but it was you, the community, family and friends who came out, signed petitions, came to commissions meeting downtown, came and filled this place up when the commissioners were here, got in your pockets and gave, gave, gave of your time and your treasure. And for you, we say, all of us together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, now I want to call up. Uh, it is it is like Mrs. Linda Brooks Burden spit this spit this girl out because she looks just like her. Mrs. Jamila Rose. You are a part of this community forever, you and the rest of your family, and we love you. Come on this uh, microphone and say something, girl. Don't be shy. First, I'd like to say thank you to everyone here. Um, I told the friends of the library time and time again how humbled, 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 humbled I am, and my family is that the community would want to put something together like this in honor of my mother. My mother was a special person, as we all can see and as we all know. And I'm just completely floored, because I can't, like, there's no words that can really express how I truly feel, except for thank you. I love you all, this is the community I grew up in, this is the building that was a lot of the background of my, my childhood, because I spent a lot of time here. You know, I see a lot of faces here that I saw growing up, so it's like a homecoming, and my mom would be completely, completely ecstatic to know that you guys love her this much. Um, my mother also grew up in the library. My mom's mother was a librarian, so her love of books started way early. Her love of her community started way early, and my grandmother couldn't be here today, but she wanted um, just to say a little something. There are no words to describe the gratitude our family feels in our hearts during this time of bereavement. This is such an honor for our family to have Linda's legacy continue in the community she serves. And my grandmother's a real big person on quotes and books and stuff, so she has a quote from a book. A library is a good place to go when you feel unhappy, for there in a book you may find encouragement and comfort. A library is a good place to go when you feel bewildered or undecided, for there, in a book, you may have your question answered. Books are good company in sad times and happy times. For books are people, people who have imagined to stay alive by hiding between the covers of books. And my mom's love of books and her love of the community was shared, you know. So, um, like I said again, I just want to say thank you for doing this for her.
Yes, ma'am. Love that family. Uh, with that being said, um, his name is on the side of the building, and I just want him to come up quickly. Hmm? Ah, okay. Before that, we have our very own District 10 Supervisor, Mrs. Malia Cohen. Hey, everybody, and by the way, it's Ms. Malia Cohen. Okay, not quite there yet. Hello, Bayview. Oh my God, you guys look amazing. How are you feeling? Today is the day that we are gonna go down in history where we are honoring the memory, the lifetime commitment of Miss Linda Brooks Burton. Today is awesome. I'm so excited. It wasn't, actually it wasn't very long ago that many of us gathered right here to open up the library, if you remember. So it's an incredible day. I um, want to give a special shout out to the to two groups. First, I want to recognize the committee who came to me very early on, right after the passing of Ms. Brooks Burton, and said they wanted to rename the library after her. They did a phenomenal job of fundraising, of organizing, of telling the story. And um, I also want to thank some of our, our corporate sponsors that met dollars to make sure that this happened. This list naming is something that we as a community can be very proud of because the committee did it themselves. We did it ourselves. We didn't need handouts, just a hand up. And I think that's very important to remember as we honor the uh, memory of Linda. And I also want to recognize the family and the uh, family members that are here today. I want to again thank you for sharing such an incredible woman with us in this community. Uh, just a personal story. I spent many many hours studying in the Bayview, in the old Bayview Branch Library, studying for, um, for the LSAT. I ultimately didn't go to law school, but nonetheless, I did, <laughs> I did dedicate many hours. And there are many people that will tell me how the library saved their life. Because libraries actually provide a very safe space for people to come and get information, share information, and there is a cultural exchange. So this library is our library, it's incredible. Uh, asset to our community. Let's make sure we take care of it and we love it. And uh, with that said, let's celebrate the day. Thank you, everyone. Okay, we have yet another supervisor in the audience. I believe her name is Miss Mrs. or Ms. London Breed. Where is she? Where are you, Miss Ms. Mrs. Ms. She's not here. Oh, she was here. Oh, well, huh? Well, you want to say that? Okay, go ahead. London Breed was the uh, former executive director of the YMCA, and while this branch was closed, she allowed us to use their branch temporarily. And we just wanted to acknowledge the... Oh, oh, my God. Where? Gina. Come on up, Gina. Come on up. Name, my apology. It was Gina Fromm who was the executive. Frommer. Come on, look. Come on, come on. I can be London Bree. I'm in Emerge, California. <laughs> I just want to say, um, Linda meant so much to me and this community. She raised my kids, and this was the place where my kids came after they left school every day to be safe. So three African American males survived Bayview. Yeah by coming to this library. So I just want to say that this means a lot to all of us, and the YMCA is a partner and will always be. So if you ever need to shut down again, I'm sure they will let you, you, the third floor, all right? God bless you all, and I just want to say thank you. Okay, everyone has a voice, and I know we all want to say something, but for now, we are going to enter the library. We're going to follow Mr. Malik Seneferu, who is going to play us into the library. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.